We're going to get started here in just a second. Uh, and first, I've got Joe with some announcements. Thank you for coming to the Housing Rights for All Housing is a Human Right March, sponsored by KBU and the Anarchist Black Rose. I'm Joe. I'm a volunteer at KBU, which has been a huge part of making a huge part of making this happen for us. KBU is a community radio station in town. It's an incredible pillar of our community, and I encourage you to support them in their fall membership drive that is starting in just a couple weeks. Uh, the Anarchist Black Rose has also been a supporter of this. I encourage you to check out their table over here. Now I'm going to hand it back over to our MC. Awesome. My name's Austin, and I'll be here all night. Um, so. Today we are here for housing for all because we share a collective dream. Right? That's it, that's it. We share a dream that people will be able to stay in their houses if that is their choice. Because we know that the cost of involuntary displacement and houselessness is too high. That's right. That's right, and here in Oregon, unfortunately, we have a long way to go before we have housing for all. But the thing is, is that we all know here today that we are ready to build that movement, to show everyone what it looks like when a community supports itself. And we are ready to build housing for all. We know that for people to be able to share their skills to the best of their ability, they should not have to live in fear of losing their home. And so I want to thank you for coming out and supporting Housing for All. We've got a couple speakers here today to tell us a little bit about what's happening in the housing justice movement here in Portland. Uh, and so first, I'd like to welcome Ibrahim. Woo! Stir this crowd up. Up with the people, yeah, yeah. Down with capitalism, boom, boom. Up with the people, yeah, yeah. Down with capitalism, boom, boom. Up with the people, yeah, yeah. Down with capitalism, boom, boom. All right, we all know what capitalism do, right? They make things unaffordable for people who need affordable places to sleep. They create opportunities for the corporate rights to get rid of human rights. Like, it's a human right for everybody to have shelter. Whether you're living in a tent, whether you're living in a trailer, an apartment building, a house, or a yurt. The government don't provide housing for the low percent from the no to low income. We need to rise. 15 now. We need all need to get behind the 15 now. We all need to get behind the tenants' right. We all need to get behind no eviction clauses because that's what's happening in our community now. People look yeah. at houseless people and say they bomb, they hobos, they tramps, they drug addicts. They don't want to do nothing. But that's not necessarily the truth. I get a call every day from at least three families that's losing their houses due to unaffordability. Yes. They raise a rent, I think the cheapest rent now is what? $800 a month for rent, and your pay rate is by $9. But if you got a family and you're the only one working, how in the hell can you afford $700 a month food, clothing, to pay for gas, pay for utilities, and for your children to go to school in? How in the world do corporations think that this is going to continue. We need to do this and, and draw this to connect the dots and come together and fight with one another. And Seamus Cook and his group have the 15 now. And uh, Portland Rights and City Coalition, a right that you have a right to have housing. That's a human right. And we need to fight together and speak up and take back our human rights. Not ask for them, but take them. We need to stop looking at one another and say, that person is just for food sovereignty, that person's just for houselessness, that person's for tenants' rights, we need to come together. Because if you don't fight with us now, when you lose your housing, you're going to fight with us later. Thanks. Thank you, Theo and Ibrahim. Uh, next, we've got Jamie Partridge from 15 Now, because we all have basic needs. 
What do we want? 15 now. What do we want? 15, 15 now. now. When do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? 15, 15 now. All right. Oregon needs a raise. Fifth, the fight for 15. A couple of years, three years ago, fast food workers on strike in New York City fighting for 15 in the union. We thought it was a dream. $15, are you kidding me? And then it spread across the country to Chicago, to St. Louis, to Seattle. Last April, there were 250 cities with 660,000 workers on strike for 15. And we started winning. We won in Seattle, $15 minimum wage. We won in San Francisco, $15 minimum wage. We won in LA, $15 minimum wage. And always, the flip side of the fight for 15 to raise the minimum wage, because the rent won't break. The rent is too damn high. The rent has doubled in this town in the last 10 years. And where have wages gone? gone? Nowhere, nowhere. But we're fighting for 15 and we're winning. We forced these folks at City Hall to raise the wages to minimum of 15 for all city workers, all full-time city workers, and all contracted city workers, the janitors, the security guards, the parking lot attendants, they all get 15 now. City of County, county workers, full, county workers now get a minimum of 15. Metro workers now get a minimum of 15. We just, we were just out at a picket line for Janus youth workers, for the folks that work with homeless youth. They're fighting for 15. We're circulating a petition here today for a $15 minimum wage for new seasons workers. We're fighting for 15 in the union. And soon, we're gonna be out on the street in mid-September with a petition to raise the minimum wage for all Oregonians to $15 an hour on the, to put it on the November 2016 ballot. So we want to to help us out. We're gonna be having a lot and lot of you circulating that petition, that initiative petition. We need 125,000 signatures. We have nine months to do it. We know we can do it. The legislature, which was dominated by Democrats who promised to raise the win a minimum wage, did nothing. So we have to take it to the people. We have to rely on ourselves. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Fight for 15. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Fight for 15. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Jamie. So next, we've got some uh, of the organizers from the Portland Renters Assembly who are going to come up and share some of the reasons why they fight this fight. Uh, we have hosted lots of Portland Renters Assemblies this year, and every single one of them gives us more reasons for why we are out here today. Uh, huge amounts of people in this city are in this position. We are in it together, which is why we are ready to build a way out of it together. I got kicked out of the home that I was living in for almost three years and so with last year by developers who bought a perfectly good old home, had five living units in it. They demolished it. They raised the property, got rid of two big, beautiful old Douglas firs, and they replaced it with two half million dollar single family homes Boo! and off street parking. Boo! I didn't really feel like I had any support. I was told by everyone, and my neighbors included, that you're just a renter. You're just a renter. You don't have any claim to this place that you've been putting your time and energy and life into. And I didn't know what to do. It was one of the most traumatic things that ever happened to me since I was born. And the Redders Assembly didn't come along until about a year later, but when I heard Tori Abernathy will be up here to speak briefly, talk about doing this, I had to be a part of it because I know that we have a collective dream for having access to this vital resource that we already have and that we are having pillaged and taken from us by near market forces that we can stop if we act together. And that's why I'm here tonight, is to bring you all together so we can start to see that. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. And up next we got Shane. Hey, I'm here representing the Portland Solidarity Network. Um, we're out right now because we can't afford to live in this city. We can't afford to pay rent and stay in the city that we helped develop a community in. 
This is our town. It's developed around us, around our families, and the families that came before us, and we can't afford to live here anymore. And this is unacceptable. Now we have to stand up, and we develop direct action campaigns to confront land property managers, landowners, landlords directly. And that's what we need to do now, is direct it. Build a tenants movement up from the ground up that can really confront this issue with the city. For us, we're gonna to have to do it for ourselves. This city is sick and we are the only cure that there is. So thanks for coming out. Awesome friends. So those are some of the reasons that some of the people are out here today.